The retreat for the 12 finalists is seen as an opportunity for the artists to present their intended works before their fellow artists and art professionals. So I got tired of seeing people painting mother and child. I tried mother and EPG and I added the toy and stuff and and and, and came out where yeah yeah it, it 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 okay this one is a China dog as part of it. Then this is a portrait, that's right? so, one. Then I also did this some 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 months back. I still have this and painting all these two print series. I titled this words and irony. Where word where the word where we, we have text saying this and the action will be saying something else. If you look at the, 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 the what is written on this very phone, it's not this poem. And the very poem has parted off somewhere. <laughs> then there, there is supposed to be maybe like a T junction. And the traffic light says green. And the very poem can't move. And there is a sign there that this very poem will soon be, be told. And the man is insisting that not this poem. But there's somebody that, that is behind that knows that something spoiled, and that is the woman there because very soon there's going to be trouble. I just try to, to do things. Then here I have had a, another one that has to do with something more of, of a portrait. But with what I did here, I I was reading something on my on Leonardo da Vinci and I and I saw what he did with test, how he, he codes what he writes and turns them the other way around. It's, it's unfortunate that I don't know how to use this computer. I would have found it so you could read. But I was somewhere around Seoul and I actually saw this guy. And interestingly, the guy who wasn't praying was writing all these prayer points on, on, on paper. If he writes and writes and writes, and the next thing he goes, Amen. He writes and writes and writes and he goes, Amen. I was like, Ah, this is wonderful. And that's how I got to this. And I, and I titled it Prayer Point. This intervention now is where the artists are presenting their projects and we are giving feedback. So it's a way for us to collaborate and have them thinking more about how they're going to approach their project and if there are any problems that they're encountering, how to help them solve those problems as they're going to go and actually create the work. When you're creating, sometimes you need your peers to give you feedback. So the feedback helps them to think more about, you know, maybe they had a problem that they were wondering about and then they get feedback from their peers to help help them, you know, get through those problems. So it's really, really helpful for them. With art, it's like you're addressing all of these, you're, you may be addressing social, political, all of these different things. So it's, but the actual creation of it, you're free. Because even if you saw it on Priscilla's project, 
she's not confining to the standards of video production. She's being an artist, but she's still dealing with social issues in a free and fluid way that someone who is a video artist may say, oh no, there's no beginning, there's no, how could you just have this bottle floating, you know? So I think that um, the art comes through, but then you're still dealing with these hardcore issues at the same time, so it's intertwined. The aim of the retreat is to further discuss the artist's proposals and their plans for the execution of it. Members of the National Arts Competition Committee also offered constructive criticism that will make the realization of the proposals more achievable. As a young artist, if you have a style and you believe in it, just keep doing it. One day you may break, you may have a break. So I started this and um, um, I met Russia, I mean uh, Arabalaka, who came to Nigeria then as a as a trader. He came to Nigeria as a trader. He was selling fabrics. I met him then and then he bought some works from me. He was buying some. This time I was buying, I would go to him and buy some. This time it became popular first among the expatriates. Um, so, and you know Nigerians, they like copying. If they go to your house, your house is beautiful and they say, ah, no, they, they want the artist. That's how it started. Nigerians, are greatly talented in arts generally. We are talented and I used to tell people you emphasize your area of strength. We are very strong in the arts. Nigerian government, corporate bodies should intervene. They should invest more in the arts. We will reap more. When you invest in other fields that we are not that good in, it's like wasting your money. The competition itself is now in its seventh year and its aim has always been to make art a part of the reformation of the society, the socio-political and the cultural aspects of it, and also to make the artist respond to the ills of his society. The competition is the brainchild of African Artist Foundation and supported by Nigerian breweries. The company, we are not only interested in marketing of our brands and making a profit, we are also interested in the communities which we operate. We are part of the community and we work together with the community. Our vision for Nigeria is to win with Nigeria, winning with Nigeria. And it is for this reason we've identified some areas in Nigeria which we want to win with Nigeria. We've identified education, we've identified health, water, youth empowerment and talent development, national arts competition comes under our talent development sector. Why national arts competition? In Nigeria, we have lots of talents and we want to see how we can encourage talent development in arts. So this competition helps us encourage young people that are interested in arts to have something to look up to. Um, we are not just interested in the end product of the arts. We are interested in the artistic creation. We are inter interested in mentoring these artists. We are also interested in the development of the artists themselves. The National Arts Competition has cemented itself as a leading platform for the development of the next generation of contemporary artists in Nigeria. The winner of this year's competition will go home for the sum of 2 million naira. This is the seventh edition of the National Art Competition and each year we find a theme that really fits them with the sensibility of the country at the time. So we always find a way of trying to capture the social belief, if you like, what's going on in Nigeria at the time so that we can allow artists to find a way to communicate you know, whatever it is that's going on in a more creative way. And so I think at this time in Nigeria, there's a lot of 
you know, problems or social problems that we feel like uh, maybe politicians haven't quite articulated or addressed as well as they can. And um, I think it's a chance for artists to put forward their own ideas and so that we can deal with these issues in a more creative way, if you like. Um, first off, we'd like to congratulate Adal Umelfia. Congratulations on the National Art Competition. Emmanuel Dudu. E.K. Francis, uh, who can join us today. He's a professor at the University of Port um, Paul Uba, congratulations. Nkechi Ube Ebe Budike, she's not here with us, but congratulations to Nkechi. Erasmus Onyeshi. Pavidon Mathias. Tina Adebowale, would you please give a round of applause for Tina Adebowale, congratulations. Modupe Ola Fadupa. Okafo Amarachi. Can we please clap for our finalists? Thank you. Priscilla Mwana. And Jacqueline Suowari. So congratulations to our finalists. They've just completed the um, retreat at the African Artists Foundation. We look forward to your final work. Um, and the exhibition will be November 22nd at the Civic Center here in Lagos. And that's where we draw the curtains on today's edition of Africans. For coverage of African arts and cultural programs, do contact the producer on africats at tvcnews.tv. You can also follow us on Twitter at tvcafricans. Till we come your way again next time, it's goodbye.